If you're an architect like me, you're probably using a mouse a lot. Let's just face it, we're not using drawing boards anymore. We're using building information modeling systems like ARCHICAD and Revit. So we're at our computers a lot. And the type of input device that we use is critical for success, it's critical for efficiency, it's critical for avoiding carpal tunnel, which fortunately I have not had, but my dad does. So today we're gonna talk about mouses. Hi, Colorblind Architect here today, coming to you from my dining room. Why? Because honestly, uh, my office is a bit of a mess right now, um, but that's okay. I wanted to talk today about mouses. And now I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, isn't the plural of mouse mice? Well, I think, and I could be wrong, correct me in, my, in the comments, but I think the correct grammatical pluralization of a computer mouse is mouses, and the plural of the animal mouse is mice. But again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So why am I talking about mice or mouses? Um, well, frankly, it's a tool that we use every day as architects because unfortunately we're not at drawing boards anymore. And I say unfortunately because there is something beautiful actually holding a pencil and actually drawing. But with the way that software works nowadays, whether it's ARCHICAD, Revit, um, or any number of other applications that we use now for drawing up floor plans, because of the 3D nature and the interconnectivity the, the, the live scheduling and, and all kinds of features that we've come to rely on for efficiency's sake, uh, there's, there's just no way to take an Apple Pencil, you know, a stylus for a device and use it all that well. I would love to see computer, uh, the computer programmers actually come up with a good way to create a drawing board style computer. I, in fact, if you look at this picture right here, so the Microsoft Surface, um, there's the tablet versions, but if you get the Surface Desktop, I think that's what it's called, I'll correct it in the title, but th this looks fantastic. It would be wonderful to have a, a computer that you can actually use a stylus on and draw. The problem is the BIM software like ARCHICAD and Revit, it's not designed for that. It's not designed for that kind of input. It's designed for mouses. So since we're using this every day, I mean, I know sometimes I'm 12 hours a day on the computer, um, days that I'm not skiing. We spend a ton of time using these input devices. So what is the best kind of input device to use, whether it be a, a ball or a trackpad or a mouse, um, now, personally, I'm hugely in favor of mouses um, just because, okay, I, I've got the Apple Magic trackpad uh, for my Mac. I will tell you, this thing is awesome for video editing. It is also awesome for scrolling through pages and all sorts of other tasks. That's why I have it, because for the video editing, to be able to scrub quickly through the video, um, using this pad and you know, I can just, it's great. The problem with this is it doesn't work very well with ARCHICAD or with Revit, um, largely because those softwares are designed for mouses. So would I recommend having a trackpad like this? Yeah, if you have a, if you have a Mac and you wanna have a really nice trackpad, this is great, but this is not gonna be your primary driver. You know, obviously comment below, tell, tell me what you think. So I've, I've had probably scores of mice um, over the years, and I keep getting the, the, the pronunciation wrong of the plural, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just gonna go through a, a few of them that I found that are really good. Now, if you're looking for a budget mouse, um, honestly, the Logitech is 
I think probably the best one. Uh, this one you can get for about 20, 30 bucks off of Amazon. Um, it uses a USB wireless connector. And the advantage of using the USB wireless connector is it has much higher bandwidth than your typical Bluetooth. So if you're using Bluetooth, you're gonna be closer to eight milliseconds for your delay speed uh, between when you click and when it actually responds on the computer. Whereas the USB wireless dongle, these tend to have closer to a two millisecond um, you know, time delay, which doesn't sound like much. I mean, we're talking about milliseconds, not seconds, right? I mean, this is tiny, tiny, tiny fractions of a second, but it can make a difference. Now, obviously this is a budget solution. Uh, there are also other budget solutions like um, this Logitech mouse, uh, this one is the G305, even cheaper. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's got a more slim factor and it is also, I believe this one is Bluetooth, although I'm not sure because I haven't been using this one in a while. Um, the advantage to the M510 is this one has a little bit more bulbous. So if, you're, if your hand is like mine and you've got a little bit of a big hand, you kind of want to have your hand being able to cradle over the mouse. Plus it's got these little grips on the sides so that I can hold it with my thumb and my pinky and that leaves my top fingers open to be able to use the scroll, the left click and the right click. Now, if you wanna spend a good bit more money for something that's a lot more liable and a lot more, a lot more functional and also just a lot more comfortable. One of the ones that I've really enjoyed, I've actually owned three of these, is the Razer Mamba Wireless. Now, here's the pros on this one. This one is a wireless dongle, so it does have the gaming performance. It's 16,000 DPI. Now, when you're talking about the DPI, that makes a big difference in terms of how much precision you get with your mouse, which if you're trying to really carefully draw something on your screen, um, sometimes that tiny bit of difference, that extra level of resolution of the optical scanner can really make a difference. Here's my problem with, with the razors in general. Um, look, they're beautiful. they're beautiful devices, they work really well, but the reason why I've had three of these is because they keep breaking on me. They usually last about a year for me and then the buttons go bad. So what does that leave me? I like a really good gaming mouse. I like something that fits well in the hand. And so what I've ended up with and my current driver is the Corsair Dark Pro. Uh, this one is fantastic. I love this mouse so much. Now, I'm gonna, again, state very clearly, I'm not being paid to say this. I have bought two of these with my own money. Why? Because they are that awesome. Okay, first, it's got the charge port right on the front. It's USB-C and it stays out of the way. So you can actually plug this directly into your computer when the battery's low and it will work as a wired mouse. Unplug it, you've got the battery operation. On the underside, look, you've got the wireless dongle, which is kept right in this little compartment over here to the side, or you can switch to Bluetooth. This way I can actually control two different computers at the same time, or I can just choose, for example, on my MacBook Pro, Honestly, I don't like having a uh, wireless dongle sticking out the side of the laptop. It's really annoying, especially if I'm traveling. I'd much rather have this on Bluetooth. But you want the higher performance, you go with the wireless dongle. Now you're getting the, the two millisecond performance. Plus 
if I'm not mistaken, this one is also a 10,000 DPI or a 16,000 DPI, something somewhere around there. Um, I don't remember the exact tech specs. Now with both this and the Razer Mamba, both of these have the colored RGB lights. They light up all frilly, frou-frou. Um, the thing that I prefer about the Corsair though is this has a, it has a, it has an app for both Mac and PC so that I can program the lighting to make it look the way I want. Now, with all this said, what should you get? Or did I miss something? Is there a pointing device that you prefer? I would love to hear it in your comments. I'd love to hear your recommendations as well because I'm always trying to improve my efficiency and my comfort level while I'm um, designing. And so let's hear it. Fill up the comments. Thanks, I'm the Colorblind Architect. Peace out.